Hi, I'm Luke. Today on Out of Darts, we're going to look at a community nerf mod, a blaster called Second Wind. Several months ago at the Maker Fair, uh, two guys, Quinn and Josh, stopped by my booth and they dropped off a nice little care package, including a custom blaster mod that they had made. This blaster is called Second Wind. It is, as you can see at the base of it, essentially a big shock, but it has a seven round cylinder up front. Now, at first when they handed me this blaster, I wasn't sure what the heck I was looking at, but it is essentially just a really cool mod of an existing blaster. Now the Big Shock has a nice, fairly large plunger tube considering its size, especially if you compare it to something like a hammer shot. And so this thing hits really, really nicely. Um, performance wise, it gets uh, over 100 FPS with pretty much any dart type and about 110, 115 with elites. I think that's pretty fabulous performance out of this little tiny blaster mod. And it is a really neat little sidearm. So it's a manual advance. It's got a really nicely done uh, plastic retention mechanism up here on top that keeps it locked into the existing position. So it's a manually indexing blaster. You just simply prime in the bottom and advance to the next shot and take your shot. Uh, they developed this after just kind of playing around sticking a hammer shot cylinder in the front of a jolt. And I think it's a really neat little mod, especially when you consider the uh, size difference between this and a hammer shot. Uh, so this is a seven shot, which is the most you can generally easily cram into a hammer shot. You, I know you can put eight, but they are considerably different when you look at size. So I think this is a really neat little side arm, could be great for HVZ. Josh and Quinn also made a holster to go along with it, which is also 3D printed. And the holster is kind of unique in that it uses a small magnet as the retention method in the very bottom, which hooks onto the center of the cylinder here, the uh, bolt that goes through the center of the cylinder. This mount itself can be uh, rotated in, I believe, 45 degree increments, so you can put it in different ones on a belt. I've left it in this configuration because I'm generally going to use it right-handed on a normal belt like this, but it's a pretty elegant little system for how compact and how powerful it is. And I just love seeing other 3D printed mods. I think reviewing and looking at 3D printed products is probably my favorite thing to do. Everybody that designs, designs a little differently and with a different aesthetic and different tactics for how to conquer, whether it's matching the lines on the blaster or how to integrate with the existing blaster or how to make this index work. Um, it's just kind of fun to see and peek into someone else's uh, brain, as it were. One neat feature of this blaster is that it can be both front-loaded or rear-loaded. There are these nice slots where you can see two empty slots and actually uh, load in your darts. And it relies on just a friction fit to hold those darts in place with. And with all the dart types that I tested, it seems to hold them just fine. And I think that's a really innovative design to be able to uh, kind of load up on the fly without having to turn the blaster around and look down the barrel. The creators are going to release these files on Thingiverse and they are also intending to sell them eventually on Etsy once they are totally ready with production. And if you have any thoughts on this, they would love to hear that in the comments and uh, that way they can work to improve the product and make it even more solid before the final release. Thanks so much guys for sending this. I think it's really cool that you're putting this together. I love seeing different mods like this totally unrelated to the blaster itself. They also sent me this little cool 3D designed uh, hobby knife, which is essentially also magnet uh, held. It's got a little sheath cover that's magnet uh, magnetic, which I think is pretty neat. I think I'm gonna keep this around in the warehouse for cutting open boxes and things like that. Uh, that's a fun little design project though, for sure. So thanks for that as well. And thank you to both of you for sending this blaster over. I will continue to uh, play around with it and give you my feedback. Hit that like and subscribe button if you would. It's a very scary time on YouTube with some of the changes coming to the platform. So your subscription and like and comment mean a lot. Until next time, I'm out of darts.